Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lean Battersby's world has collapsed on Coronation Street. Not only has she learned that her fine K, Nick Tilsley, had an affair with her sister Toya, but her mentor Rowan Cunliffe was well aware of the affair. The opening of tonight's episode of The Street was exactly like any other for heroine Lean, who had a nice conversation with Oliver, the AI replacement for her late child, before getting into yet another heated argument with her family. Ah, happiness. However, as she left to meet Rowan at the Chariot Square Hotel, things were about to take a sharp turn for the worse. He was obviously seeking retribution during their talk against Amy Barlow, L. Mulvaney, a fellow Weederfield resident who has recently been inducted into this strange cult, the Institute. Amy realized she may have made a serious mistake after spending 40,000 pounds on his fraudulent resource center, and her mother, Tracy McDonald, launched a fight to recover her daughter's money. She recently participated in an upload session where she was forced to divulge personal information and admitted to kidnapping a man who had been observed spiking ladies in a nightclub. This is one of the cult's methods. She was unaware that Rowan was secretly filming her and was preparing to use the footage as a tool for blackmail should she carry out her campaign against him. Amy confronted Leon and told her to watch her back after realizing the extent he would go to ruin people. Lean was obviously thinking about something, even if she was hesitant to listen to her. She swiftly erased the contents from Rowan's laptop after gaining access to it back at the hotel. But she also found an image of Nick and Toya sharing a kiss. Fans of the ITV soap opera will recall that the photo was taken in another attempt at blackmail by one of the cult members. Terrified by their relationship, Lean went into the viaduct bistro, whereupon she and Nick got into a heated, public argument. After he confessed his love for Toya, things got worse. She went home to Victoria Court, feeling deceived by Nick, and let her feelings run wild. Rowan was following closely behind her, trying to persuade her that withholding the specifics of the affair scandal from him was the correct thing to do. She finally experienced a flash of insight when she realized that he had been taking advantage of her weakness and controlling her for months. Lean pledged that even though she had lost everything, she would make sure Amy didn't. Will Rowan's cunning tactics prove successful? Without her son, Elena Pop has left Weatherfield for Coronation Street. In Friday's episode, Elena was confronted with additional threats to her life and the life of her son, Doran, due to her impending trial in a gangland. Recently, she came back to the cobbles to assist in the imprisonment of some local thieves, which led Tyrone to learn that he had a son he was unaware of. Even though Fizz made an effort to maintain harmony in the most recent installment, she was still worried that Tyrone and Alina might rekindle their romance. Tyrone told Fizz that although he had enjoyed getting to know his little boy, his family came first. When Alina showed up at No, nine out of concern that the group she was supposed to testify against was watching her, the family quickly faced more serious issues. One of the gangsters attempted to storm into Alina's hotel room as she was getting ready for court in a subsequent incident. Although Ronnie Bailey managed to escape with the cup, Alina was severely upset. Tyrone told Fizz that Alina had been attacked according to a phone call he had received. The young one was in grave danger, so Alina came asking Fizz and Tyrone to take in Doran, a suitcase in hand. It won't last indefinitely. Until this trial ends, please, she pleaded. This is the best way, the only way to make sure no one gets to him. It should remain unknown to the public that Doran would be residing with Tyrone and Fizz as Alina was certain that no one had followed her to number nine. Since the child was undoubtedly in danger, Fizz and Tyrone were forced to accept Doran moving in with them, if only temporarily. And with that, Alina had to return to consolement. 
Evelyn Plummer questioned whether Tyron had done the right thing by risking his own family in order to protect Doran Honestly, as the episode dating to an end. Helen Flanagan from Corey said with tears in her eyes that she fell in love with boxer David Hay. The mother of three from the soap opera opened up to Dr. Tara and love gurus Anna Williamson on the E4 show about her previous relationship. When Helen and David first met in the jumble on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here back in 2012, she said that things instantly clicked. Even though Helen was a part of the throuple with David and his girlfriend, Cyan Osborne, last December, she admitted on Celebs Go Dating that she struggled to deal with David's open relationship status when they were together. It was quite something. It's really hard for me to talk about it. He had a girlfriend and an open relationship. Helen shared, I fell in love with him even though it wasn't my intention. It was peculiar. He may love his girlfriend, but I believe he also loves me. It just takes me back to a very depressing period of my life. Helen acknowledged feeling very lonely following the breakup of her 13-year relationship with Scott Sinclair in 2022, and it took her more than nine months to begin dating again. According to OK, she also denied the rumors that she and David were in a throuple, saying that the situation ship just wasn't for her. I acknowledged that I was in love with the man, she said. Watching the man I was in love with have sex with another woman would not have been enjoyable for me. I'm not into that. I had no pleasant feelings about it at all. I'm a lovely girl. I don't mean to hurt anyone. And I felt really, really horrible about it. So it upsets and makes me feel extremely bad. I was incredibly lonely despite feeling terrible about it. It was tough, you know, she said. It was quite challenging. However, sentiments always develop after a prolonged period of time spent sleeping together. And I fell in love because I was so lonely. The third child of Coronation Street actor Sam Aston and his wife, Bryony, has been welcomed. Just one week has passed since Bryony, 28, welcomed their daughter into the world, and now ecstatic father Sam, 30, has released the first photo of their little girl. Renowned for his portrayal of Chesney Brown, the actor and Bryony are already devoted parents to three-year-old Sonny and 18-month-old Daisy. Sam declared on Instagram, Hazel Marie Aston, Welcome to the world. He also disclosed that Hazel, weighing a healthy 8 pounds, 15 ounces, when she was born on May 7. Precious moments was how he described the shared series of photos. It seems that Bryony chose to give birth at home underwater, with Sam by her side for support the entire time. In a private moment seen on camera, Bryony is holding their newborn in the delivery pool when Sam gives her a passionate kiss. The couple had previously been expecting twins, but vanishing twin syndrome sadly claimed one of them. One kind of miscarriage that can impact twin or triplet pregnancies is called disappearing twin syndrome. It occurs when one or more embryos miscarry, yet the pregnancy goes on. Frequently, an initial scan reveals many babies, typically twins, but a follow-up appointment reveals only one baby. It's a girl announced Bryony during a conversation with OK Magazine. She revealed, I knew immediately away that it was a boy. I had a strong sensation about it. We even chose the name of a boy. It was surprising to learn that we were expecting a daughter. It leads me to believe that our lost twin may have been a male. It's a girl, announced Bryony during a conversation with OK Magazine. She revealed, I knew it immediately away that it was a boy. I had a strong sensation about it. We even chose the name of a boy. It was surprising to learn that we were expecting a daughter. It leads me to believe that our lost twin may have been a male. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.